Do you suffer from those annoying little red bumps on the backs of your arms that just won't go away no matter what you do? You know, the ones that make you self-conscious about wearing short sleeves or tank tops? Well, what if I told you there was a natural, inexpensive way to finally get rid of that so-called chicken skin for good? Intrigued? Then keep watching! Hello, everyone. Today we're talking about keratosis pilaris, a harmless but aggravating skin condition that affects up to 50% of the world's population. As someone who has struggled with KP myself for years, I know firsthand how frustrating and embarrassing those stubborn red bumps can be. But after doing a ton of research and experimenting with different remedies, I'm excited to share some inside-out strategies that have worked wonders for smoothing my skin. But first, what exactly is keratosis pilaris? In a nutshell, KP is a buildup of keratin, a protein that protects your skin from infection and harmful substances. The keratin forms a scaly plug that blocks the opening of the hair follicle, resulting in patches of rough, bumpy skin, often with surrounding redness. KP is more common in people who have very dry skin or suffer from eczema. While it's most frequently seen on the upper arms, it can also appear on the thighs, cheeks, and buttocks. Now, if you're like me, you've probably tried scrubbing your KP with harsh exfoliants or slathering on heavy-duty lotions in a desperate attempt to get rid of it. But the truth is, while physical exfoliation and moisturizing may provide some temporary improvement in the skin's appearance, it won't address the root cause of the issue, which research suggests is largely an inside job. You see, one of the major factors that seems to contribute to KP is vitamin deficiency, particularly vitamins A and D. Vitamin A plays a key role in skin health, while vitamin D is essential for the proper metabolism of keratin. Interestingly, many people who suffer from KP also tend to be deficient in these critical nutrients. So how can we get these skin-smoothing vitamins? Well, cod liver oil just happens to be one of the best natural sources of both vitamin A and D. I know, the idea of downing a spoonful of fishy oil every morning sounds pretty gross. But supplementing with a high-quality cod liver oil was the single most effective thing I did to heal my KP. Within a few weeks of taking it daily, the bumps were significantly diminished, and my skin was softer and smoother than it had been in years. But not all cod liver oil is created equal. Low-quality brands can be rancid, hard to digest, and lacking in nutrients. Throughout this video, we'll be including recommendations for cod liver oil, which will appear in the corner of the screen and also in the description of this video. By purchasing any of these products through our channel, not only will you get a high-quality product, but you'll also be supporting our channel. And we would be thrilled about that. In addition to supplementing with cod liver oil, eating a nutrient-dense, whole foods diet is crucial for preventing the keratosis pilaris. Focus on consuming a variety of vegetables, fruits, high-quality proteins, and healthy fats while minimizing sugar, refined carbs, and processed junk. Some of the most powerful KP-fighting foods include pasture-raised egg yolks, liver and other organ meats, wild-caught fatty fish like salmon, grass-fed butter or ghee, fermented cod liver oil, beef tallow, duck fat, coconut oil, shellfish, dark leafy greens, orange and yellow fruits and veggies. These foods are packed with the fat-soluble vitamins and anti-inflammatory compounds required for glowing, bump-free skin. I've personally noticed my KP tends to flare up when my diet starts slipping, so I make a conscious effort to incorporate these superfoods regularly. Another game-changing strategy for conquering KP is responsible sun exposure. Yep, you heard that right. Sensible sunbathing can work wonders for smoothing those pesky bumps. Of course, I'm not talking about roasting yourself to a crisp. The key is short daily doses of unprotected sun exposure just until your skin turns the lightest shade of pink. This provides all the vitamin D your body needs to prevent overproduction of keratin. In fact, many people, myself included, find their KP virtually disappears during the sunnier months, only to return in the winter when vitamin D levels plummet. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, but what about skin cancer? And that's a totally valid concern. However, 
Research indicates that optimizing your vitamin D levels may actually protect against melanoma and other types of skin cancer. The key is to never burn and to gradually build up your tolerance. If you're extremely fair and burn easily, start with just a few minutes a day and slowly work your way up. You can also try eating a diet lower in sugar and higher in healthy fats and proteins, which some evidence suggests may increase your skin's resilience to the sun. Of course, if you have a history of skin cancer or are taking medications that increase photosensitivity, you'll want to chat with your doctor before jumping on the sunbathing train. But for most folks, moderate mindful sun exposure is a safe, cheap, and effortless way to keep KP at bay. So in summary, the best natural remedies for keratosis pilaris are Supplementing with a high-quality cod liver oil Eating a nutrient-dense, whole foods diet Getting sensible daily sun exposure Optimizing digestion to increase absorption of fat-soluble vitamins Reducing intake of sugar, refined carbs, and inflammatory foods I know it can be disheartening when you feel like you've tried everything and your KP still isn't budging. But in my experience, when you start to work with your body and give it the raw materials it needs to thrive, magical things can happen. Be patient with yourself and committed to the process. Remember, healing is never a straight line. It's a squiggly, perfectly imperfect journey. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your bumpy-armed friends. And as always, leave your questions and comments below. I'd love to hear about your experience with keratosis pilaris and what's worked or hasn't worked for you. See you in the next video.